<laughs> okay. Well, um... My name is Julie Sarate. I'm from Houston, Texas, and I'm a painter. I am self-taught in acrylics and oils, inks, and uh, I, uh, I, I work full-time, but uh, I enjoy painting in my spare time. I have a family, and uh, I, like, I, I like exhibiting with my friends here in town. And, oh, uh, I work for an attorney. We do personal injury law. Um, because I'm used to working small, it's, it's very important for me to put in details. And with this particular painting, I concentrated on certain details um, and then just left the rest kind of atmospheric and ethereal. Because I'm really impatient. <laughs> uh, it's one of the reasons why I work small, but this is a, one of the rare larger pieces that I've done. And, and I concentrated mostly in trying to develop the lighting technique and stuff like that. With this piece, it was, it was an exercise in learning, and part of that learning was about uh, lighting, using light as part of the uh, portrait. I stayed away from too many colors. I wanted to keep it very simple and plain, earthy, uh, but mostly it was about the backlighting and how uh, to make her features stand out in a dark atmosphere. I like to uh, study different things and I'm always trying to push myself so I try not to lim limit myself to one particular style of painting or medium and want to try different things. But when it comes to time constraint, I think that, yeah, practicality <laughs> is part of it. Uh, it's usually because I'm working on more than one painting at a time. It's, uh, it's an exercise in balancing and juggling, but usually when I'm done, I, 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 it's pretty much over with. I move on to the next project. Uh, Frida Kahlo uh, represents to me uh, a very iconic personality in art. As uh, most people realize, there are not that many women artists who are remembered or stand the test, the test of time in the art world. Now, but she was a uh, she's a woman artist and, and she's iconic to and relevant in this time and, and throughout time. So it's important to I think pay homage to her and continue in that spirit.